Hi there, everybody. We are talking all things tea on Cook's Corner today. We're joined by Sabine and Danielle from the Cozy Tea Cart in Brookline, New Hampshire. Thanks for being here, first of all. Thank you for having us. Uh, yes. For folks who don't know, what is the Cozy Tea Cart all about? The Cozy Tea Cart is a retail store and a cafe. Um, I am a tea importer. I okay. travel all over Asia to source my tea, and we bring it into the store. And Sabine is our chef. She was. She's from Switzerland, was trained at a European culinary school for five years, so she okay. makes all our food from scratch for the okay. cafe. And what did you bring in today to show us? We did um, uh, food and tea pairing today. Yep. Uh, we have our tomato basil bisque. Oh, that looks good. And we paired it with the Ceylon. Ceylon Nubathana Kande. Yep. Literally, much like you do with a beer or wine, you can do a tea. Okay. Yep. Correct, yep. yep. Absolutely. We have our veggie quiche. And we paired that with the Sencha Fukumushi, that's a Japanese green tea. Okay, I'll let you say that one. <laughs> <laughs> we have our white chocolate raspberry scone, and we served that at the um, cafe with the strawberry preserves and the clot of cream. Okay. And we paired that actually with an iced lavender lemonade. Ooh, that sounds good. Okay. Absolutely. And we have our lavender honey cheesecake. That's a special for the summer, and we pair that with an organic vanilla indulgence. Okay, so you get your tea and you can have something to eat with it. Uh, this, is, this I love up here, if you can show the board. So you've heard of like flights of beer, flights of wine. You do flights of tea, right? Flights of tea, yes. So it's a similar idea where we, um, so in the shop we don't typically pair. So this is a special event where we pair the tea with the food. Yeah. Uh, we do it once a week on Wednesdays between 3 and 5. And it allows the customers to, it introduces them to new teas and mm -hmm. foods that they may not have tried yet. So it's a great way to introduce them to trying something new. Something besides orange pico, whatever the standard tea yes. is out there. <laughs> now on Sundays you have a special event going on too, right? Um, one Sunday a month we do themed afternoon teas. So it's a different theme every month. The next one coming up is um, in September. And it's our tea by the sea afternoon tea. Tea by the sea So there's a lot of nice. fish, fish themes with that okay. menu. What do you find people ask you like, oh, there's more than one tea? Are they surprised by that? Is it? it they get pretty overwhelmed because we yes. have a whole wall of tea. We have over 200 teas, um, but we, um, our staff is trained very well to help them narrow it down to find the tea that they're looking for. Yeah, I mean it must be fun for you because there's so many flavors. Oh, it's exciting. Work. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think there's a tea for every taste and every mood and every time of day. Yeah. There really is. Huh. Do you find that people's minds are blown about tea when they do? You, do they leave with an education? They do. Um, we do tea blending classes and we also um, do tea tastings. Actually, we have a special going on with Groupon right now. Okay. Um, they can buy one get one free, and it's a, a one-hour lecture and then a tasting. So it's a full education, and they always leave amazed at what goes into the processing and harvesting of tea. Okay, and if there's a website out there, where should people go? TheCozyTeaCart.com. In Brookline, New Hampshire. Sabine and Danielle, thank you very much. Thanks thank for you. Showing us. So thank interesting. Us. I love the idea. That does it for us.